Hello, I thought I'd show you how I finish off my sunflowers today. Um, so here I've got one that's already made and put together. You can see what the back looks like and that's the front. Um, it'll need a little bit of tidying up afterwards, but that's where we are. So I've got here two discs of felt. And what I'm going to do is turn the sunflower over, take a disc of felt, glue all over. Just do that over here one second. You can see I'm using quite a bit of glue. I've got a very fine glue gun, so it does take a bit of um, effort. I've got another one that isn't as fine, but it's not really that convenient for me to switch between the two. And then I'm going to pop that disc on the back of my sunflower, which tidies that all up. And also means that if I've got any gaps, as you can see there are, um, it's going to look um, yellow all the way through. Okay, so... That's the front and the back now. Now we need to attach the ribbons. So I'm going to just turn it over and put it in, lay them on in the reverse order to the order that I want it to look like from the front when I'm finished. So just pop them on roughly where I want them. Okay, and then I'm going to take my glue gun, pop a little bit of glue on the top end of each ribbon and rick rack. Pop it on to the back of the sunflower. It doesn't matter um, if your ends um, aren't the same length at this point because um, I tidy up the ends in a moment which I'll show you. So, there we go. Nearly there. One last one to go. There, so that's what the back looks like now. Then I'm going to take a hessian disc. I'm going to glue all over the back of my sunflower. Pop the disc on as centrally as you can. And that's everything fixed into place. And take my second yellow disc and I'm going to pop glue all over the back of that as well. Pop that right in the middle of the Hessian disc. And then finally, onto that, is going to go a brooch back. Go there. And when we pop that on in the middle, that's just going to need gently holding in place. It's a bit hot um, until we're finished. This here, it, you can see, is glue. I just put pop um, some glue around the edge. Um, to stabilise it so that it doesn't fray. That's something new that I've been adding in the last month or so. Um, and then if we turn it over from the front. There we go. That's the order that we wanted. And then we go, I'm going to fix my bride-to-be across the middle. So for that, I'm just going to trim the ends so they're... Um, as I want them. And then choose where I want it to lay and pop it on. This one is a bride to be. I've got a birthday girl coming up in a moment. These can be customised. Um, Birthday girl is probably the longest 
we're going to be able to fit on the center if i can just find that one to show you put that on a different one there you go. anything much longer than that you're going to end up running quite a long way onto the petal or even over the petal but there we are there's birthday girl and i should just say that all of these labels are done by mr t and t because he does a much better and neater job than me um and then the final thing to do is if we look at all these ends, what I do is I just dab. Don't worry about the rickrack, but all of these, all four ribbons, I just start with the lace one, glue on the back and just fold it over so you're not going to have any fraying. And then what I do is I work to the length of the very first one I do. So then we'll trim that rickrack there. And we go on the back of that one there. Make sure that's roughly the same length. Same on this brown one. Gently fold it over. This is hot glue, so you do need to be a bit careful that you're not burning your fingers. This one I'm going to trim slightly before I fold it, so I've not got too much running at the back. There we go. And finally, that rip back is about the right length. And then all that needs now is a press and making sure that all of the ends of the um, glue are clear and that one is good to go so that's one finished bride-to-be badge